Before it was Silicon Valley, before California was the most populous state in the Union, and before the mass urbanization that characterizes it today, California was a teeming landscape of agriculture and natural beauty. To be sure, the state still provides some of the most exquisite scenery one can imagine, but there can be no doubt, things have changed. My name is Preston Metcalf, Executive Director of the Triton Museum of Art in Santa Clara. And today, I want to take you on a journey into our past, to a time when orchards dominated the valley, sand dunes were a ubiquitous feature of the San Francisco Bay Area, and glorious Yosemite was becoming recognized as the impressive vacation destination it would become. Today, I want to share with you an exhibition of paintings by one of the most prestigious painters of California's late 19th and early 20th century, California Impressionist Theodore Juarez. Theodore Juarez was an American Impressionist artist. He was born in San Francisco in 1859, and by the time of his passing in 1939, he had become one of the premier painters in the California wing of this movement. His early training was in the traditional academic art of the late 1800s, focusing mainly on landscapes and portraiture. Warriors excelled in this tradition, and through his many and varied travels, he produced extensive bodies of work portraying locales from Europe to Asia and even the South Pacific. But by the end of the century, Juarez would come under the influence of several avant-garde artists, and his style changed to reflect the new movement, Impressionism. Early in his career, Juarez became friends with William Merritt Chase, who encouraged the younger artist to explore the new style but it was his meeting and befriending of the American artist working in Europe, James McNeil Whistler, that had an even bigger impact on his art. Through Whistler, Juarez became familiar with the new Impressionist movement, eventually adopting the new style. Upon his return to California, Juarez fully embraced the techniques of focusing on outdoor light, more Impressionistic brushwork, and a lighter color palette overall. Natural vistas of California's sunlit landscapes became the hallmark of Juarez's art from the early 1900s on. As a San Francisco native, it was inevitable that many of the first subjects to be portrayed in the new style of California Impressionism would be the natural settings in and around the city. Over and over, Juarez portrayed the ubiquitous sand dunes of the Bay Area. Even today, one might get a glimpse of the city's natural past, as Warey so pleasingly portrayed in paintings such as Baker's Beach and the Presidio, San Francisco, and Entrance to the Golden Gate, both painted in 1914. But little by little, urbanization would overcome the expansive natural settings, and scenes like Blue Lupines of the Sand Dunes of San Francisco would become more and more rare. By the time Juarez was painting these remarkable dunes, San Francisco was beginning the mass urbanization we have today. The city was changed forever with the massive destruction of the great 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which destroyed most of the city. The artist studio of Theodore Juarez was among the architectural casualties. Juarez made the decision to relocate to Saratoga about 50 miles to the south of San Francisco in the Santa Clara Valley. And it was here that he would produce some of the most noteworthy expressions of California Impressionism. Among Juarez's most celebrated California Impressionist paintings, mostly dating from around 1915 through the 1920s, were of the agricultural settings in and around Santa Clara Valley. It was a time when orchards dominated the landscape and Juarez made the most of these rich, natural, and cultivated settings. 
In a painting such as Tree Blossoms, painted in 1920, we see the loose brushwork and quickly rendered flora articulated by the bright natural light of the California sun that defined the movement. Individual dabs of brilliant color portray not only the physicality of the place, but also the emotion, the impression of the place. The orchards are mostly gone now, but occasionally we can still catch a glimpse of the beauty the valley once enjoyed. Fortunately for us, Theodore Juarez gave us many depictions, now memories, of what once was. For the remainder of his life, Juarez would portray the wonders of California's landscapes, fine-tuning his California Impressionist techniques all the while. It was only natural then, perhaps, that he would eventually find himself setting up his easel in one of the greatest of California's natural wonders, Yosemite National Park. Established by Congress in 1890, Yosemite was, by the 1930s, becoming one of the state's most visited landmarks. Under the deft hand and sure impressionistic brushstrokes of Theodore Juarez, the monumentality of Yosemite's peaks highlighted by the brilliant California sun, were captured and preserved for us to still enjoy today. The Triton Museum of Art is pleased to be able to show once more 23 of Theodore Juarez's California paintings, part of the larger collection of the artist's works donated by the artist's widow, Mrs. Carolyn Bauer Juarez, and collectors Drs. Ben and A. Jess Shinson, to the city of Santa Clara, under the proviso that the collection be preserved and maintained in perpetuity by the Triton Museum of Art. Theodore Juarez was not only an important California Impressionist, he was a preserver of a passing time. His work is a reminder of the beauty of our region and state, and an encouragement to see the vestiges of the beauteous nature that still peeks out, if we are prone to look and see.